In this lecture, we study a backward texture mapping technique to, te to map the texture of two-dimensional images onto three-dimensional objects. So where does texture mapping happen in the pipeline? Mapping techniques are implemented at the end of the rendering pipeline. This is efficient because few triangles make it past the clipper and everything that is clipped out, we do not have to worry about mapping texture on them. So here we have a rather simplified version of the graphics pipeline. We have the geometric vertex processing, then rasterization, and then we have the fragment processor. The pixels of the texture map are given to the fragment processor because this is where the texture mapping happens. And then the pixels are passed on to the frame buffer. So is it simple to perform texture mapping? Although the idea of mapping a texture usually stored as an image in a file onto a 3D surface is simple, there are three or four coordinate systems involved. The coordinate systems involved in texture mapping are parametric coordinates. These may be used to model curves and surfaces. The texture coordinates, these are used to identify points in the image to be mapped. Object or world coordinates conceptually where the mapping takes place. Window or screen coordinates where the final image is to be produced. Parametric coordinates are in pixel units, say U and V. Texture coordinates have no units, they range from 0 to 1, S and T. Using parametric coordinates and texture coordinates, we can find out a mapping from a pixel to a point on the 3D surface of the object. Once this is done, a mapping is required to be performed from the object coordinates to the screen coordinates. We need mapping functions to go from one coordinate to the other. Consider a mapping function from, from texture coordinates to the point on a surface. We need three parametric functions to describe the surface. X as a function of S and T, Y as a function of S and T, and Z as a function of S and T. S and T are the coordinates of the pixels in the image and x, y, z are the coordinates of a point on the three-dimensional surface. Given the texture coordinate s, t of a pixel, we need to find out which point on the surface it corresponds to. So this is the forward direction. However, we really want to go the other way around because the point that corresponds to this pixel might not even be visible on the screen or might be clipped out. So we want to go from the points to the surface to find out which texture this point should take. This is called backward mapping. So we want to go backwards, that is mapping from the screen coordinates to the texture coordinates. So here we have the screen coordinates, which is our final product. So given a point on the screen coordinates, we want to find out where it maps to on the 3D surface of the object and then go all the way back to the texture coordinates to see what texture value should it get from the texture map. Given a pixel on the screen, we want to find out the corresponding 3D point X, Y, Z on the object. And then we want to find out the ST coordinates in the texture map that the pixel corresponds to. For the mapping from the object coordinates X, Y, Z to ST, we need a mapping of the form S of X, Y, Z and T of X, Y, Z that given an X, Y, Z value, what should be the S value and given an X, Y, Z value, what should be the T value on the texture coordinates. Such mapping functions are difficult to find in general. 